Alright, in this video we're going to be doing another example on statics. So in this case we're given some kind of L beam that is shaped like an L. And we have some distances given here, so basically that's the length of the beam in this direction and that is the length of the beam in that direction. Now first thing we notice is that this has some thickness, but generally when we're doing the static analysis we ignore the thickness and we only care about the centroid or basically where the center of mass is. So that's already drawn here, that's the neutral axis of this particular shape. And now we have a force of 5 kN applied at a 60 degree angle from the vertical over here. So the idea is to find all the reaction forces acting on this beam. So the first thing we do is we can draw a free body diagram. So it is going to look something like this. We have our L shape. Now we have the force applied over here, 5 kN at 60 degrees. And then we're going to have our center point of rotation here, so that's where the fixed support is. Now we have three types of reactions. The first one is going to be going up, so let's call this R O Y. The second one is going to be going to horizontally, but in this case you notice that the horizontal component of this external force is to the right. So in order to balance that out, we can guess that the force should be acting to the left in this case. It doesn't matter what assumption you make at the beginning, because if you get a negative answer, then that means that you need to invert the direction on, in which the force is acting. So you would always get the right answer regardless of what assumption you make. And the last one that I'm going to assume is going to be this way is the bending moment reaction at O. So now this is basically what we have in our free body diagram. Now we should also add some dimensions. So basically this is 2 meters. And then over here we're going to have all the way to the center point here. That's going to be 3 meters. So let's start with the sum of the forces in the x direction. We're going to assume that all the forces, that forces going to the right are positive. So that means we have 5 kN times the sine of 60. So basically that's going to be the horizontal component of that force. And then we're going to have minus ROx. So that means that ROx is going to be equal to 5 sine 60 degrees and if we plug that into a calculator that's going to be 4.33 kilonewtons so that's basically rounding it up to two decimal places now for the next one let's do the sum of the forces in the y direction so that means we're going to have let's assume that up is positive so next thing we're going to have is ROY and the vertical component of this force, which is going to be 5 cosine of 60 degrees. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So ROY is going to be equal to 5 cosine of 60. And if we plug that into a calculator, that's going to give us 2.5 kilonewtons. Now the last thing we need to find is the bending moment reaction, so for that we're going to take some of the moments about point O. And let's assume that this direction is positive. Okay, so now the first thing we have is we have our bending moment reaction, MO. Then we have, this is going to generate two moments actually, if we look at it this way. So. If we consider this perpendicular distance over here, then the, the horizontal component of this force is going to be generating a rotation about this point like this. So in that case, we can say that that's going to be positive as well. So it's going to be the horizontal component, which is 5 cosine, actually 5 sine 60. times the perpendicular distance, which is in this case 2 meters. And then if we look at the, the vertical component, which is so, which goes like this, then the perpendicular distance between this center point and that force is 3 meters. And now it is causing a rotation in this direction. So it's going to be opposing the direction that we assume, so that's going to be negative. So that's going to be a negative, and it's going to be 5 cosine of 60 times the total perpendicular distance, which is 3. So now we solve for a bending moment reaction, and that's going to give us minus 
0.16 kilonewtons meters. Now the reason it's negative is because our original assumed direction is incorrect, so it is actually going in the other direction. It is actually going like this. So we can rectify that by just writing it this way. So it's 1.16 kilonewtons meters, but it is going in this direction. So it is essentially clockwise as opposed to the direction we originally assumed. And that's essentially how you break down a problem that has several components in it and you solve for the reaction forces and reaction moments.